So today we are doing a very exciting video. I am so excited and I'm also so optimistic. Whenever I start a sewing video, I'm like, I can't wait to have a fabulous handcrafted by yours truly piece of clothing. And you know how it goes usually. <laughs> I haven't been known to be the most professional sewer. Some have said I can turn out a garment if they're squinting and they take their glasses off. So you know, all really resounding reviews, which has given me the confidence to do this video. And we are going to be working with exclusively only pink fabric because Valentine's Day is upon us. And honestly, I just really like pink. That's the main reason. Now I'm engaged, so it's kind of unwritten that I have a Valentine. It's my fiance, Stuart. But I tend to think Valentine's Day is not just for the couples, okay? Because who doesn't love a heart shape? Who doesn't love pink? Pink is just like a mutually loved color. It's gorgeous, why not? It's like green. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm basically saying, even if you don't have a Valentine, who cares? Let's celebrate together right now in this video. I will be your Valentine. Okay, so basically, long story short, you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, I have sewn a few things in my day. I tend to be better with a glue gun than with a sewing machine, but it hasn't really stopped me from trying to sew things. And you guys have brought it to my attention that there is a fellow YouTuber named Makara Tours, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, who does sewing videos and apparently they will teach me how to be a professional seamstress. Now when I saw your guys' comment, I went over to Makara's channel and I actually had seen a video in the past. I think it was about the princess and the pauper. She was like making the gowns from it. So of course I have seen it. I have seen it. I am no stranger to the videos. They're very fast paced. They're very, I don't actually remember it being informative because I was just watching it for fun. But you guys say it's informative, so we're gonna see today. Found a Valentine's Day dress video, and it is so cute. Here's the photo of the dress we are going to be trying to create today. She does have a tutorial. We're gonna be following it, and I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but like I said, I'm extremely optimistic, and my allergies are flaring up so badly today, so I have like lots of allergy medication. And usually this allergy medication makes me tired, but for right now it's making me have energy. So perfect day to sew. I got three fabrics, two of which are for this video, one of which I just want your guys' opinion on. I bought this fabric. It's gorgeous. It's got all these little flowers. And I was thinking curtains. How hard could it be to make curtains, you know? What do you guys think? How's that look? Do you think it looks good? I feel like that's kind of cute. Let me know down below. I'm not gonna make them until you tell me it's good. Okay, back to the video though. Here are the two fabrics that I bought. I got this pink, which is so cute. And it was actually on sale. I went into Fabricland and everything was like 50% off. I was like, what is happening? I have watched the Makara Valentine's Day dress video like eight times in preparation. And she said just to get a cheap pink fabric. So that's what I did. Literally perfect. Looks exactly like the fabric Makara used. And it was 70% off. And now that's before Valentine's Day pricing. What is it gonna be after Valentine's Day? Isn't that adorable? I love this Valentine's Day dress because it's like the right level of tacky in my opinion. And I know a lot of people think tacky is a bad thing to say. I love tacky things. I'm so excited, let's get into it. Okay, this is the video we're going to be watching. Oh my goodness, it has two million views. Now to make the dress you might have come here to see. The base will be cheap satin and the overlay will be this heart stuff that I got for clearance after Valentine's Day last year. Now let's get this thing done. Use a ribbon, phone cord, or lock of Willie Nelson's hair. Oh God, okay, we're starting. Length you'd like your neckline to be. Then play connect the dots with a piece of sidewalk chalk. When you're done doing that, come back in the house and draw out the rest. Ah! Okay, uh, I don't need my sewing machine yet. So get out of the way. <laughs> Okay, boom, 56, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why, is my why is my neckline, neckline, neckline so, long? so long? Oh my gosh, why is it why so much shorter this time? Ah! The vibe I'm getting from Makara in this section is it probably shouldn't be this hard. Connect the dots. Ew, why is that line so bad? Oh gosh, you guys, this is the first step. When you're done doing that, come back in the house and draw out the rest of your body. 
draw out the rest of your bodice. And then I'm just gonna go down. And then it's just going to go out. Now you guys remember, I only have doll scissors, so sit back and relax. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know we've only done step one, but I already feel like this is going a lot better than normal. Oh, okay, so it's like a perfect match. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, about that. Not quite perfect here, are we? Everybody go in the comments right now and guess how long this dress is gonna take me to make. Okay, next. You can be happy to see. You. Make sure you cut out two layers of this and then sew it along the top before flipping it right. Huh? You just so casually brought up the sewing machine? Let's do it. So finally nestled up in my slowly warming RV, I sewed the two layers together with the neckline, flipped it right side out, and then ironed it down. Okay, literally, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, we have to sew here and here and here and here and here. All right, I'm doing it. I'm gonna sew now. Oh my gosh. Okay, one done, three more to go. Okay, I did that. It took me a long time. <laughs> now I just have to flip this inside out. Oh my gosh, life hack. Look at this. Did my Kara show you this? Maybe because it doesn't work. <gasps> no! You know what? Slow and steady wins the race. Oh my gosh. It looks okay. <gasps> I definitely understand the need for an iron. Dang, I wish I had an iron. Should I go out and get one like right now? I have absolutely no idea how to do a dart. Okay. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Two seconds later. I went to Walmart and I got this ironing board because I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna be a professional seamstress, I'm gonna need an ironing board. Put that here. And then the only iron at Walmart was $75. Hello, why? But I was thinking if I'm gonna be a professional seamstress, maybe I should have a really bougie iron. I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at this bougie thing. I need to do a good job. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, wait. Hold on. <gasps> Makara! This looks like a shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, awesome. And we're gonna try and figure out how to make a dart. I need to go literally 25 speed frame. So we're gonna make a dart here. Oh gosh, this is a lot of fabric. Got my awesome pin cushion. <laughs> now, before I do stuff like this, I like to think. I like to take a minute to think because sometimes I don't think and then bad things happen. Beam won't. <laughs> okay, let's see how that one turned out. <gasps> okay. Okay, dart. Okay, dart queen. It's not fantastic, but it's like pretty good for me. Also, did I mention this video is 14 minutes long? And I've been at this now for like two hours. Trace the front to create the back, or if you wanna show off, you can measure your own back. Maybe you're one of those people. Trace the front to create the back. Back to the fabric. Where did I cut from? And I'm gonna make this one a little bit wider just because otherwise I will not be able to fit in my garment. Okay, then what do we do with this? What do we do? Oh my gosh, it goes in on the back. You're a wizard. You are a wizard. Tool time, which I'm really excited about. I love this tool, it's so cute. Look at this. Are you keeping with me right now? Oh my gosh, it's cute. It's very cute, okay. It's actually the thing that makes me feel the most powerful. Like when I'm doubting my own abilities, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm that person. Okay, now I'm left to my own abilities, which you guys know what happens when I'm left to my own abilities. Weird things happen, right? One eternity later. Like I can't tell if that's what I was supposed to do for the back. 
This is gonna be a tight squeeze, you guys. Okay, continuing on. Then you are about to trace the garment, but then, alas, the trickery is about to ensue. You're going to cut it so that the middle is super wide. It should be the length of a full-grown golden doodle. <laughs> what? Okay, golden doodle, huh? There is too much fabric here. There is too much. You are doing the most fabric, the most. Okay, let's do this. Okay, good. get this tool out of here. Is it the size of a golden doodle? Oh, I need a size reference. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, it's so long. <laughs> I feel like it is the size of a golden doodle. I feel like it is. I have to pin the very center of this. There we go. I did it. So basically what I'm doing now is bunching up the fabric around the neckline on the inside of the top, aka the side that's not showing. And after sewing the pleats in place, we're gonna flip it over. Oh my gosh, we're making pleats. <laughs> Give me like five hours to do this. I'm gonna flip this all the other way apparently. Wow. Very poofy on the front. Already hers looks so much better. Mine is just like poofed out. As you can see, I iron my pleats down for extra crispness, but if this isn't enough for you, I highly recommend putting it in an air fryer. Okay, uh, I need the iron again. That's actually hopefully gonna make a big difference. Okay, so I just had to ad lib a fair bit to finish the straps and also the sides. One thing I'm finding is the tutorials are really good. They're very fast and certain pieces are like breezed over a little bit, but that's okay. Like I can figure it out, I think. Next, lay the back on top of the front, then sew it together along the top and sides. Okay, lay the top and the back and then we're gonna lay this piece on here. Nice side to nice side. This is going okay. I think, I don't know. I'm getting very, very tired. Okay, I'm just gonna iron this because I think it's fun for some reason. And then I will see you tomorrow and I'll most likely be wearing the same thing. Where were we? Where were we? It might literally look like it's the same day because I did my hair, makeup, and I'm wearing the same outfit, but it's actually, would you believe, two days later. Where did we even leave off? I can't really remember. Oh, and I changed my phone case in these few days. Check that out. Pretty cute. This is the length I'm going for for my skirt. It should hit just above the knee, but if you make yours about two feet longer, you'll have a Bridgerton costume. Okay, so I need to pick my length. It looks really long. I almost feel like I have to get on the ground for this. All right, I guess there's no hiding the mess anymore. It's true, I'm not as clean as everyone thought. Okay, 26. I feel like I should do two layers of this because it's a little thin. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a little thin. What is that? What was that? Is that long enough? That feels a lot longer than what she had, but I'm not 100% sure because she never said the dimensions, which I get it. It's fine that she doesn't say the dimensions, but I wish there was like a section in the description box that like explained it a little bit more for people like me who are trying this out. I might just hem it off camera because it's not that fun and I'll be back. Okay, I just sewed the edge now and then I gotta put the tool on top. Oh, thank goodness I got enough of this. Okay, I gotta t cut this to size. This is the skirt. Wow, there's a lot of fabric here. Okay, I'm gonna top stitch this now. Whatever that means, let's do it. Top stitch, you say. I think it's just a stitch from the top. Seems almost too easy, but I really think that's all it is. Now I have my skirt. After top stitching the see-through heart layer to the satin layer, it was time to make ruffles. The easiest way to cut straight lines is by folding your fabric over a kajillion times before cutting. Oh my gosh, I got a snake. Wait, I have two snakes? How did you become two? I have all the little snaky snakes. Now I must 
push them through the thingy. Well, well, you're just going to take your 10 miniature arms, aka fingers, and shove the fabric through before it's ready. Just stomp this down, and then you shove it all in here. Oh my gosh, it's working. This is quite fantastic, actually. Like, this is something, Makara just taught me something big. I mean, she's been teaching me things, but like this, to make a ruffle? This is exciting stuff. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look how cute it looks. Oh, a ruffle. Okay, let's keep going. One eternity later. Okay, I got all those. I tried to measure them to the bottom of the skirt. I made one and then a second one so that it's really fluffy. This is amazing, by the way. I think this is my favorite thing I've learned in this video is how to make these. So that is beautiful. I would almost make that just to like hang it somewhere. So cute for like Valentine's Day decor. What next? Now sew the ruffle onto the bottom edge of the sheer layer of your skirt. Okay, pins. What next? Now splay out the bodice and pleat the inside of the skirt until it fits perfectly inside. <sighs> oh my gosh. You get over here. We have it splayed out. How will that look? Oh my gosh. That makes way more sense than this. Oh my gosh. I'm doing something. Okay, I just have to keep pleating. You guys, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Look at this. Oh. MG. I'm like looking in the viewfinder. I'm just like, huh? Look how good that came together. Now I can't mess this up now. Like I'm doing a good job. <gasps> oh my gosh, I almost just messed it up. Lol, aesthetically pleasing sides facing each other. Don't mess it up, Mia. Come on, girl, keep it together. Dang, I put the, all the things in the wrong way. Now I'm just gonna be stabbing myself the whole time. Oh my gosh, there's so much fabric. <laughs> so much fabric here. This is kind of a big deal right now, isn't it? Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's literally taken me like 24 hours to get this far, but I can't believe it's actually turning out. It looks so cute. Then apply a zipper. Fun fact, zipper starts with the letter Z. Well, today may have started as a total blunt. Oh my goodness, wait, does she not tell me how to apply a zipper? I did buy a zipper. Where it is now is a question mark. Okay, first of all, she doesn't explain how to add a zipper. So here I am with this open dress and I literally don't know how to put a zipper in. So I feel like that warrants looking up another video because I have gotten this far, I'm not gonna ruin it because of a zipper, but I must find my zipper. Oh my gosh, I just did so much work putting the zipper in upside down. The zipper is in. So good. One slight issue, it zips from the bottom to the top. So that will help me get in this, not at all. Okay, they look kind of, I don't even know what shape this is. They look like this. Is that my arm? I think so. So we're gonna go. Okay, an ant width apart. Oh my gosh, look, that's actually so cool. So you have it, and then you pull, and it cinches up. Oh my goodness, it has been hours of anticipation, literal, Days of sewing. This is insane. What time is it? But it is done. And everybody, everyone, cross your fingers. Cross them as tightly as you can that this fits. Because, oh my gosh, it looks so cute. We need to see it on because right now it's like a blob of pink. I might break it, but I'm going to get into it. Let's put it on. You guys, oh my 
gosh. First of all, it fit by like this much. Thank goodness. I don't know how that happened, but it literally fits like a glove. I have literally no idea how that was possible. The backward zipper was actually a little bit of a help getting into it. So maybe that's a life hack. I don't really know. This is so cute and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. Like it actually feels well made. I would like happily wear this out for dinner. And I like the length. I think the cares was more like this short, which is really cute. But for me, I like a longer skirt because then I'm not worried about it flying up. So like, you guys, what in the world? You can definitely tell in certain spots it's handmade because look at how big this pleat is in comparison to these pleats. But you know what? It is handmade. I made it. <laughs> Round of applause for myself. I got to show off the dress a little bit more. Let me show you some shots of it and then we'll do our final thoughts. I don't even know what to say. I cannot believe this dress was made by me. I think the tutorial does a really good job at actually teaching somebody who wanted to make those pieces or just being purely entertainment purpose for people just wanting to see the video. It's a good middle ground because I was able to make this. The only one video I had to look up was for the zipper, which I put in backwards, so we, we know how that went. I am so happy with how this dress turned out. This was so amazing. It was totally worth the time. The video was great. It taught me so many useful pieces. Like I think the thing that I love most is learning how to make this on the bottom, these ruffles. I never knew how to do that. Even just the general shape of the sleeve and how to like make it cinch. What? And learning how to put these two pieces together. I learned a lot. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. To the people who wanted to see me do this, I hope it lived up to your expectations. If you would like to see anything else in particular, make sure to comment it down below because I'm, already, I'm always reading through the comments. That's where I saw this idea. And where is the charity jar? Oh, it's over here. Hold on. Today we are going to be donating to the Salvation Army. Well, I must run around my house and show everybody my dress. But let's call my mom. She wants to see this, I bet. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm really excited. <laughs> oh my word! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! I know! Me? You made that? I literally made this. With those hands? With these hands! Oh my that is amazing. That's beautiful. You're a sewer now. <laughs> <laughs> I might run around in my dress a little bit, but uh, that, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.